Hello everyone, welcome to this spoken tutorial on desktop customization in Ubuntu Linux OS. In this tutorial, we will learn about the launcher, how to remove and add applications in the launcher, use multiple desktops, internet connectivity, sound settings, time and date settings, and switch to other user accounts. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 14.04. Let us begin with the launcher. Launcher is the default left side panel in Ubuntu Linux desktop, which has some default applications. The launcher makes it easy to access frequently used applications. So, we can launch a program by clicking on its desktop shortcut on the launcher. By default, the launcher has some applications. Let us learn to customize the launcher based on our requirements. For my regular work, I need applications like Terminal, LibreOffice Writer, Gedit and so on. Let's add these applications on the launcher. Before doing that, I will remove some of the applications which I don't want. Say, I wish to remove the VLC application. So, right click on the VLC application icon and select Unlock from Launcher. You can see that the VLC application icon has been removed from the launcher. In the same way, we can remove all the shortcuts which we don't use frequently. I have removed some applications from the launcher on my desktop as you can see here. Now I will add the terminal shortcut to the launcher. Click on dash home. In the search bar type terminal. Click on the terminal icon to open it. You can see the terminal icon on the launcher. To fix the terminal icon on the launcher first right click on it. Then click on Lock to Launcher. Another way to fix the application shortcuts on the launcher is by dragging and dropping. I will demonstrate this now. Open Dash Home and in the search bar type LibreOffice. Drag the LibreOffice icon onto the launcher. As we do so, the help text may appear saying Drop to Add Application. Don't worry if no help text appear. Now drop the LibreOffice icon on the launcher. You can see that the shortcut is now added to the launcher. This is how we can add shortcuts on the launcher. The next important feature in Ubuntu Linux OS is multiple desktop or workspace switcher. Sometimes we may be working on multiple applications and we may find it difficult to switch from one application to another. To make it more convenient, we can use Workspace Switcher. Let us come back to the launcher. On the launcher, locate Workspace Switcher icon. Click on it. It shows four quadrants with four desktops. By default, the top left desktop is selected. That is the desktop in which we are currently working. Now let's select the second desktop by clicking on it. I will open the terminal here by clicking on the icon in the launcher. Now click on the workspace switcher again. You can see the terminal on the second workspace switcher and our desktop on first. In this way we can work on multiple desktop. Let us come back to the first desktop. Trash is another important icon on the launcher. Trash contains all the deleted files and folders. In case we delete a file accidentally, we can restore it from Trash. To demonstrate, I will delete DIW file which is on my desktop. Right click on the file and click on the option Move to Trash. To restore it, just click on the Trash icon in the launcher. The Trash folder opens. Select the file, right click on it and click on restore. Close the trash window and come back to the desktop. We can see the file which we deleted earlier is now restored. 
To delete a file permanently from your system, first select it and then press Shift Delete. A dialog box saying, I show want to permanently delete DIW will appear. Click on Delete. Click on the trash icon once again. We can't find the file in the trash folder as it is permanently deleted from your system. Now we will see some application available at the top right corner of the desktop. First one is internet connectivity. Connection is established if you are connected to any LAN or Wi-Fi network. You can see this over here. You can select the network which you have to access. To enable or disable the network, check or uncheck the enable networking option. We can also edit the networks using edit connection option. Next option is sound. Click on it. You can see a slider here. This helps us to increase or decrease the audio level as per our choice. We can further adjust the sound level of our system by clicking on the sound setting option. Explore the settings in this window on your own. Next icon is time and date. If we click on this icon, the calendar opens up. We can see the current date, month and year here. Arrow buttons allow us to move to other months and years as per our choice. We can edit date and time by clicking on time and date settings. Explore these options further on your own. Next, click on the wheel icon. Here we can see some shortcuts options along with logout and shutdown options. We can also see all the user accounts available in our system. We can switch to whichever user account we wish to by clicking on the particular user. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned about the launcher, how to remove and add applications in the launcher, use of multiple desktop, internet connectivity, sound settings, time and date settings, switch to other user accounts. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the following link. This tutorial is contributed by Gaurav Shinde and Praveen S. Thank you for joining.